Hello, I'm Zephyrogen and welcome to a castle in the middle of a desert for around level 20-ish. Now, I want to build it as cost efficient as possible, but I have no idea how much of a cost it actually is. S not disabled. Yeah. Now, what we want is a classic castle, which means we have a bailey. Well, it's not that classic. I mean, a, a castle could be just a tower. Um, but that's a little bit boring for within the game. So, I wanted to have something, you know, four towers and inner room um, to have a little bit protected open area um, with the towers I have enough protection uh, all around the castle. Now I found this is a good place um, to build for, a lot, for around level 20. And yeah, now what I do want is to have um, the, these wooden things, but um, for the most part um, now, absolutely minimum would be three blocks wide, right? For, for each wall. Now, this works, but um, I found that to be a little bit too... Uh, what should I say? Um, too... Too small. So, I like to have more like four, uh, five for symmetry purposes. And at which point I'm going to change to these, as this is now becoming the tower, towers. So just basic shaping here. Just so. So, but what I do need now, what I haven't prepared just yet, is does this work? No, I guess not. Unless I want to move it up. No, I don't want this. I want it. Um, um, yeah, proper writing, foundation, fence foundation. Yeah, it doesn't really matter which one I take, I guess. Um, Okay, but this doesn't work, so I guess that doesn't matter. Um, shoot it. So. Uh, Hold for a moment. Now this should work. Uh, by clicking, uh, holding shift and clicking on the entry here, you get a whole stack, which depends on, on what item you click, but in this case it's a hundred, so um, this is quite nice. Just want to have a little offset for for uh, inwards. I think this looks nice and a little bit trampled. So next one five again. Four. 
five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Great. I don't like that. So makes not much sense to lower the floor there, I guess. Here it makes sense. Oh, I can under... Oh, ooh. I guess... Yeah, I need to lower this one. Holst some fundament, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Let me build this quickly. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm in admin mode. Does this work? Yes, it does. Cool. So, um, shift delete while being admin. Um, may maybe um, because I'm also in gun mode, as you've seen, I didn't take damage. Um, does kill an enemy. So, um, there's that. This also works for, for um, building blocks, actually. So that, that's the first. Uh, that's why I tried it in the first place. Yeah, this doesn't work out. Question is can I build like a wall there? No snapping points. So I do need to take the um, foundations here. Oops. Hold on, no! Why is it? There's fewer, but why do I still have a hundred? I'm confused. Trip mode is disabled. Um, okay. Ah. Okay, yeah. Not that nice, but um, it's workable. It's definitely workable. Can I move them down just to be sure? No. There's no underground building there. Great. So, we have the basic layout. Very simple. And uh, I guess fairly quickly done. So, we why do I still have a hundred of those? Makes like no sense. So now let's place the gate. Now where do we want to have them forced to enter? And this would be kind of great all the way around, but then again, this could be our back, uh, back escape. So, also, this is kind of nice. Just extend like one block for, for the wall, and we're having a good protection here, and already prepared a. a Kind of backyard, you know, like drawing wall from here over there, so we can use the the room back here for like the stables. 
So back to the gate. I guess this would be fine if I get it aligned, of course, that is. So this is the front, uh, well, or not. Okay, again. So this is the front. Well, the outer and the inner. So we have two uh, separate, well, doors, gates, which should help. And it's, it's just cooler, I'd say. I mean, with, oh, yeah, it's, it's not the arena. I'm so used to, to the arena DLC by now, and it's horrible. Uh, because there you have two different gates, actually. Uh, you have one of metal bars and one of wood. And in, in combination, these look just awesome. Uh, especially if, if you prepare like a kill zone in there, you know. So you, you have the defense kind of, of gate and the, the wooden gate. So you, you block them inside. And uh, we're going to be placing a um, fireball chaldron or whatever it's called. to, um, well, throw, in quotes, boiling oil on them, but um, that's usually not what they use, but anyway, we're in the game, so I guess that works. Um, I don't like that. I get kinda forced, or, yeah, that's it. I, I don't like those uh, three see-through um, points. But that's mostly because of the foundation. I guess when I'm taking walls here should be fine. Uh, on the first floor, we don't want to have any uh, openings. That is, of course, to the front. Mostly the front. Back here, we, we could make some windows. I mean, that's a nice view. But not before the walls. So, from here on. So, having windows. So. So, and then we go to iterating, well, um, switching between, oops, wrong direction, so, yeah, I guess we're, we would go from here, Yeah, this looks nice for the angle. Um, full window, full window, full window, full window. And I guess it would be nice to have here an, an exit too. Okay, but these are not hidden entries, right? So we would... Yeah, not, not really. I guess just, just, just the exit on, on the rear side is, should be enough. Um, now before we go to the interior... Uh, these are the no longer need. These as well, at least for the moment. We're focusing now on um, the towers. So, first of all, and I guess I'll be using ramps on the inside. But 
that's kind of problem, kind of. I don't want to build too high because it's um, yeah, it's supposed to be a starter base, so using as less blocks as possible while giving maxible, uh, maximum usability for that. Now, is this, I, again, I don't want to build too high, and the issue with the gate is I already need four blocks just to get this high. Now, why they did that, I don't know, because um, the doors open to the inside, so it, it doesn't really make sense, in, for my mind at least. Then again, uh, it's just forcing us to build four blocks, which is nice to have um, two blocks high floors, which is quite comfortable to um, live in. But you can bypass that as well if you're using um, sloped ceiling blocks um, anyway. Now let's go planning our inside. Now, I kind of want to lower the inside floor, which well, is like uh, a settle inner... I don't know what to call it. Um, Just a little offset. This would this would look great, I guess. So we're back to the foundation thing. This one. But now I want to have. But well, better to say I need to have an isolated wooden wedges. Where's the wedge? That's the block. There's the wedge. No, 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 no. Let's keep them nice, so... <clears throat> This is actually nice, because at first I wanted to make a door here and a door here, because this was kind of the upper level. Now I can combine them, make it less... Uh, yeah, th this is actually better. Lots. So... This is for everywhere but the gate side, of course. This is actually nice, yeah. I just leave it to that. So, but here we're going to use the ramps, which is those, uh, or not. So. Yeah, I guess I can live with that. Yo. So, 
We have that. We have this. Right, 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 right. I don't need them though. There, this is better. And for here, it doesn't matter too much, I guess. I think this was great. So. And we're going here. And something in the middle now. Suck. We have the two. And we have the two. And I'm well, I, I would use wood of tier one if available by using a mod um, because that way you, you could destroy. But I, I, I really don't want to use sandstone, although it, it kind of suits the, the environment, right? It would, it, it kind of would. So let's see. If I'm taking sandstone uh, stairs, that's corner, that's ram. Come on, where's. It's around stairs, great, but there we go. Sandstone ramps. Now, by using sandstone ramps, they, well, not that it matters that much with, with this level height, but um, it's a little bit of an obstacle, so um, any enemy will have a bit of a trouble getting in there once you destroy the T1 stairs. So by, by using, for example, explosives by players, they would first destroy the stairs before um, the door. Now, on this side, this isn't much of an issue for them. But um, it still can be a bit of annoyance because it doesn't go as fluent not even with this stairs. <laughs> so it would be even worse without the stairs, um, you can imagine. So that being said, um, let's continue with the interior. So I guess we got the stairs settled for now. This is no longer required either. Doors. And the Floor parts. So let's make the doors. For the interior, we can leave some windows because windows are always nice. Especially to the inner part where some of the um, living parts are. Also, well, at least in theory, uh, if anyone is attacking through the main gate, you can safely shoot from in here outwards without revealing too much of yourself. So um, this should be help uh, helpful. Yeah. So, we do have a first floor by now. Not set in stone just yet, but um, we're getting there. Now, of course, here off the outer wall, 
we want to stay um, close. This will also help to in being kind of intimidating on anyone who approaches. Because yeah, um, it is quite a big thing here. But for the most part, we must not let show that we are using a wood here. Although it, it is T2, so it's got basically about the same health points as the uh, brick blocks I'm using on the rest of the building. Okay, I've got that already. So. Oops. Uh. <laughs> As Oh, it's a sandstorm, because I did set this... Um, so this one right. Holy! Okay! We're using our second stacks of full walls. Okay, pretty windy it seems. Holy. Okay, let's check our um, shelter value. Not that much as of now. It's pretty open. So maybe back here is a bit better because the walls are taller. Not that much as of now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep this one closed to you. I guess this is where it stops, right? Yeah, and then I do want to have access here. Maybe I should build something here so that someone doesn't fall off the cliff too easily. So, that being said, let's start iterating from here. Oh, it's just right above now. If it's the same, it's not that much uh, of a nice view. So let's start here.
this is kind of... I mean, it's offering itself already to be there because, um, yeah, it's kind of... Because I have the floor already there. But let's not build too much there just yet. So, let's have a look. It's not that tall. Then again, it doesn't need to be that tall because I kind of want to make some sort of outer bailey here. So, with that being said, or, or like even a semi open one, or, or yeah, now let, let us place another gate here. Oops. So we're having here front part from which we can shoot in. Nah, nah, nah. N not for this one. I think one is high enough because I kind of want to um, make this part lower and this towers uh, higher again uh, kind of a lot higher so, so they even can uh, look down on these two you know ju just like they get in and, and can cover these towers first uh, any virtual attacker so to say There. Then we're gonna do this. Now, and this will be floor. So, first floor, uh, likewise here, um, but I'm doing a light change here, because I'm using these foundations here as a floor, it would be a waste to not use that space, kinda. So let's do this, and this will actually be a floor, so... Let's give it a try. always the block and the triangle. Great. So, getting floor done here. Triangle. Triangle, so <sighs> 
so. course this seems a little bit boring but we can make them um, to life and it's just you know castles are functional in their main so as I said in the beginning they could a proper castle could be just um, just a tower just just one of these uh, in fact if you actually play survival I would recommend starting with uh, a tower like this at the place you want it to have, like a, a world marking, so to say, uh, similar to what I have here, as a matter of fact, right? So um, you align, <coughs> you start building the tower with the inner foundations, uh, or be better the, the outer ones because it's easier to um, lower the inner ones, I think. Uh, anyway, so you, you would start building the tower at the location you want build you know just like two walls high and put a roof on it like here and you're set for the first night right and you can plant your uh, place all your workbenches um, inside or, or outside uh, whatever you like for the start uh, because you're gonna be moving them later on anyway so yeah but if, if you start with a tower you'll be protected already right so and, and that's the basic reason for for a keep or for a castle well a keep is actually more like a house surrounded by walls well or a, a, not surrounded, but, but could be integrated as well. But, but anyway, it's it's yeah, it's difficult. But best about trade diversity, I'm still not getting my head around be, uh, between the differences of a keep and castles. Also, uh, I watched it quite a few times, but I'm always getting lost by the matriculations <laughs> or uh, just all the um, killing zones, murder zones, murder holes. No, 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 no. Zack, zack. So I'm making two windows here on the inside for the light. Then again, <coughs> because here will be a, um, a floor. Right? So I guess make a window here is not that useful. It would be better to make a window here. It is there where there are two. I mean, these are. Yeah, this works. But for here, I will like to have it this way. What? I'll make this a full wall too. I'll make this one a window. <clears throat> and just for the fun of it, you're making a balcony here. 
but not here because we're going higher here and this floor should still be for like guards you know and the player home should be farthest away from where the entry is so uh, in either one of these two towers uh, and I would rather say this one here so it's most far away from the outer walls or the outer area well granted here is a little bit uh, lower the, the wall but um, it's still most far away then again placing a trebuchet here's a good place for trebuchet so we, we're gonna need one of those as well but they're more like later content I guess um, anyway I wanted my doors so I guess I have them all now Let's build quite open to the inside. I mean, the inside should always be open-ish, you know, like windows and stuff. So we get daylight and don't have to use candles because they did use candles and not torches because torches are just burning too fast. I mean, I mean, take today's torches um, that you can buy I, and I'm talking about handheld torches right so similar to, to uh, adventures uh, you see in the movie those last like 10 to 30 minutes and of course there are some standing torches they're, they're bigger or, and also those are often using oils and stuff so they, they burn longer than, than just um, I mean, literally oil, and not just um, clothing soaked in oil. It, it's quite a difference. But already, with uh, clothing soaked in oil, you again, you burn like half an hour. Maybe if you use a lot of clothing, uh, maybe forty-five minutes or something. But it's nowhere near enough to for for indoor lighting. Right, and, and you get a lot of smoke, a lot of smoke. You don't want that inside. Only uh, as an emergency case, kind of. here let's make windows here here and there um, no we're gonna make one there this suits actually it's okay it's fine So, okay, seems we're gonna need a third batch of uh, closed walls. Holy, so. Okay, zack, 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 zack. Well, let's make this one full too. Zack, 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 zack. Zack, 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 zack. Whoa, 
That's nice. Okay. Oh, holy. And I need to add another floor. Oh, sorry. And a whole new floor for this thing. Holy, holy. Okay. Now we don't want to block the entrance. Entrance is too much. But we also don't want to exit on the outer side, so... No, I, I could just go with this. I mean, you can step over this. It's not that much of an issue, actually. we could do this oh no this is not so well so this will block uh, let's do it on here no this also gives a little bit of a different feel also we're here on the back side so it's not much of a problem getting on top of it and being shot uh, right at So, okay, I guess we're getting close to the top level, finally. Now, for the last part, I, I want to have access down here already to be able to shoot from left and right. This is more comfortable, or I think, if anyone is trying to get through the doors here, it's a lot more comfortable shooting just like this. I mean, I can protect this wall from anyone climbing out, up, uh, likewise from the other side, so... Uh, and they are protected, right? So nobody can shoot them unless they're down here, and yeah, if they aim up there, they're going to be shot in the back, so... <laughs> okay, I have these two. This one. Oh, let's... Yeah, let, let's stay consistent. This one. Ah, uh, this is not nice. I want to have the doors um, available. So... Well, that you can go from door to door without having to pause... Uh, shoot. Without having to pause the, the, the door. Um, what am I saying? Door. Then you get to the door without passing the stairs. Uh, yeah, to do it to walk around the stairs. Um, would this work? Yeah, 
I guess not. Doesn't let me move it. Alright, because this would be... Oh. This works. If you're not too close there, this works too. Why not? I have a little bit of interior variation. This is always welcome, actually. Because the building as such is quite boring as it is right now. I mean, it's just like flat tops and stuff. So th this is going to change um, anyway. So. No worries there. So once we have done all the floors, I mean by now, this one is at its top. So the last that we need uh, are these two. And I cannot think we could um, just raise one so it's clear which one is the, the player home. But we could also use that to um, get a distraction, right? So we make one tower bigger, but we only house the guards there, and the player home is in the one, in the lower one. Either way, I'm, I'm gonna need to raise these by a level. I just mean. We could go like start building here with wood and doing the top level while we keep this one uh, open like with uh, fences by now. Um, also, I did, did, no, no, I did want to, to use these. Then again, I'm using the inverted brick roofs. So, using the isolated wood arling doesn't look the same. So, if I use uh, wood horns. No, that's not a mark. So let's just take the wooden ones. Oh, and while I'm at it, I should have taken some more brick walls. So that's the third batch of brick walls. So like it's not that third batch brick walls, brick walls, second batch brick. No, iso wood wedges. And then let's get them. Uh, 
um, isolated wood wedges. Great, so to 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 well, let's do the fences for a start. I guess I'm done with these. I would like to have these also as crenellated. This would be nice. But um, there's only these. And this one seems to be a mod because it's English, so I can't use those. Yeah, I guess we're getting somewhere. Now, let's do some outer wall preparations. This is a bit of an issue. I would really, really, really like to be able to stand here and shoot down. But I guess this has to be enough. Also, how do, how do I mount the Siege Cauldron? I mean, I, I can't mount it on, on one of these, right? Hold on. Hold on. I think I just found a way. So, wooden more keys. Oh, these are the all halvings. This is actually just to protect uh, the guards up here from bombardment of siege weapons, like the trebuchet. But it could also help, now in, in the real case scenario, uh, for arrows, because they would probably be shot in an angle, if, if you get my drift. So we have these here. And I guess I'm going to continue this one here for all around. Then again, I might be better for here so they don't get to this upper level. Right. Um, hold on. It just looks that tall, but it's just the second floor. Well, 
actually it's the first floor, it's not even the second. <laughs> We have that. Yep. So if anyone gets in here, they should be able to shoot them. Um, do we have... This would be great. This would be great. If we'd had those rooftops, you know, for the length of just one block that, that would cover it with an angle on both sides, but it doesn't look like it. Huh, so... What's to do down there? So... No, no, no! Alright, I wanted to keep some of these parts open, so it's easier to shoot down. And most preferably... Those where we have some protection. So, right. Yes, I start liking this. Really. That is you with these awnings is there's no wedge part. So we will have it open. Um, in a way I don't really like that. Um Let's see how this looks. Yeah, come on. Well, why just down there? I wanna snap it on the upper part, please. There is an upper part, isn't it? Like, seriously? N not even... Come on. They're really, really... This sucks. I mean, these are two blocks high, actually, I guess they should. I haven't built too much many times with all wings, as you figured, probably. Um, then again, why not leave it a little bit of open? But if I leave it open, it doesn't serve a purpose of protection. And speaking of protection, these awnings are quite well high in a way, right? So I guess I gotta drop this idea and make a kind of workaround. Because also, with too high, these get pretty uh, high. And I want to keep these lower 
than the other two towers in the whole appearance. So I want to be able to shoot down from these towers and I think this would be great high to start some balconies. So this is great for a balcony and here one to the inside. Yeah, just just like that. And we're having here. Yeah, like that. And this one here. This looks nice. Or Nah, this is nicer to get out. You can look around up there anyway. So, we're having the doors for balconies. Um, we're still swift. this one here no I just had it so because otherwise it looks a little bit too crowded Actually, it still does. Let's make it different. So, yeah. Yeah. So hmm. For it rating this would be like that. Hold on, this is wrong. This should be a window. Oh, come on. Hey, what's up? So,
So now we get doors here, here. I still haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna um, use a distraction kind of things, but I, I think I'll leave it on the same height for simplification purposes. Also because I, I think we, we're getting uh, to a quite amount of um, blocks. And this was a bit more than anticipated, to be honest. Uh, hold on. So... It's gonna be fun. I hate these. Well, let's see if I get him aligned just somehow. What the? Why you wanna? Don't wanna? Ah, uh, it's a bit wonky. It's it's funny. If I can't align, just a little bit of downward was in most cases enough, but now of course if I want to talk about it, it doesn't work for whatever reason. Why? Why? I, I can snap it like this, but... Yeah, of course. Okay. If it works like that... <laughs> it's a sh just switch to the opposite um, orientation of the wall. But I don't get this one aligned. I get it here. Get it here. Right! I have it at one place. Come on! <laughs> it's incredible. So, or hold on, maybe will work with that. Yeah. So let's do the other side of these. And we're getting somewhere. We really, really do.
Uh, hold on. Huh? No! This feels wrongly just a... No, that's right. Now we're going to use these for, uh, hold on, for crenellations. Well, um, not crenellations, um, actually for kind of matriculations. Um, because we don't have blocks like this, and this is kind of the only way to get something like it. And you want to have these on the uh, highest tower, so you can shoot at everything that is anywhere below, uh, which literally means uh, all of the castle and everything around it. So... Yep. We now can shoot down here pretty easy. And we have a nice view. Hmm, yeah, I guess this is... Yes, it is. If, if this is being up Okay, you, you just gotta stand on the um, on the stair, but it should work to protect from here. As a matter of fact, yeah, for the player home, you cannot. Let, let's close this. Let's close down here. So for the player home. You can't just get in the tower and then move all up, right? Because that would be too easy. And as a matter of fact, in game, we only use the player room, not unless you do role play. But in, even in case of role play, you, you might appreciate that uh, it, it's actually the longest way, real way, to get to your room because it is supposed to be the most private area. So. Therefore, it's farthest away from the entry, which might include some other ways. I mean, other than getting into the tower and all up. So, we could make like... It's either one of these two towers, anyway. <clears throat> I need something to to lift this up. I, 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 I. Now this is I, I want to build without glass construction kit and stuff. Um, I do have mods installed, as you see with the mini map. Uh, it's uh, improved quality of life, but. Um, the, in an overall saying, I don't want to use um, DLCs or mods for this build because it's early level and you don't really have points um, to spend your feature scale points anywhere else than the most essential parts. I mean, I'm currently working on the um, basic information guide um, and it's just horrible how I mean, at level 20 you have like, like three points spare that are not most essential. And with these three points spare, all I could set into decorations were like three points, like uh, furniture maker as such, tables and chairs. That's it. And, and with, with that skill, I have three points spare. So it, it's quite... A, close um, mathematical approach. Pretty tight. Um, I'm just seeing a big issue here. 
this one here and then to be able to move around we'll be needing this one right okay how can I put a siege thing here Oh great, now I know only the English names and it's all German now. Yeah, I got it. But I have no... On a proper slot. At what level is that? If I don't have the slots to build it... Um, oh, maybe, maybe it's this one. Right? Right, maybe it's this one. Hatch. So I'm gonna need hatches. No more bricks. So let's see hatches. So that's these. Not good. I, I want to start with uh, full stacks, and I can't get a, a stack of hundred from there, which is kind of obvious because because uh, it could just enable a uh, building mode and don't use the resources at all. But I kind of want to know how many resources we've spent. Well, at least in in a block count, as such. Um, I was looking for looks, uh, well hatches. So let's stay with bricks. No, of course there are no... Ah, oh, come on. Um... Because I didn't save it. Why is it just one? Oh, I'm on. Okay, no, there's no aligning to this. But it's still great to, to have this. I mean, you could still, well, at least in the roleplay, throw rocks down here. And for some reason, I, I think it needs those um, crenellation things. And I just wonder, when would I learn these? So, uh, let's go to building. So, mason. I... I Ah, this is level 26, so oh, great. So I'm, I'm building stuff I haven't even learned yet. Oh, great. So this would be level 25, and I guess this would be, okay, 35. Well, okay, but um, we have it prepared, anyway. We're, we're not going to use it, but we have it prepared. So um, if you still use this base at level 35, you'll be able to put the siege charge on there. So this should help. I need more fences, um, but I think this is just the fundaments, uh, foundations. So I am out of fences. No, I have four left. Great. Um, let's make it a second batch brick fences. Um, tuck. Seagull and fences.
And then again, would I really use bricks on wooden floors? Not really. This this wouldn't um, hold. This doesn't hold. You're needing wooden fences here. So I guess I'm gonna use the isolated wooden ones for these um, kind of railings. Missing better word here. I'm just trans translating on the fly in a one shot with you, so please bear with me. Um, what are we talking about? We were talking about wooden fences. So, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. foundation. There, there we got it. And I need to test something. Just to be sure I don't want to be in gut mode. Because I need to get... Great, these don't even hurt. But they do. No, they don't hurt either. Come on, why why don't they hurt me? Aren't they supposed to hurt? I mean, I did get... I, I think so, by the sandstone stuff, right? No. Why I'm not getting hurt? I'm walking. Now, now anyway, since I, I know these gave me some damage, is it because I'm admin and mod here? Oops. So let's remove all these. No damage at all, whatsoever. Ah, okay, when I tried to jump... No. This isn't much of a change, I'm just figuring... Why the... I'm getting no damage! Aren't these fences supposed to give some kind of... This is the only one that hurts me? Are you kidding? This, this is T1. And those that are supposed to be superior... Are you kidding me? Like, seriously? I, I've just made whole outer things with these and they don't even hurt. So, hey, come on, this is... Uh, great. Man, luckily I'm testing this. Holy crap. So, uh, back to flying and stuff. No, now what this means is, shoot, I'm, I mean, I got them all around there, right? And it's so tempting to just hit shift delete to remove them, but 
if I'm off by one pixel, all of the wall might collapse, and, and that's just not worth the risk. Are you... They don't do damage, not at all! Oh man, this is so... Oh. Okay, sandstone. Um, sandstone. Let's get to. I guess I'm. Let's just leave them there for decoration. And how do they look on top of this? I mean, you do see it's different. There's no point in denying that. It, it looks similar enough, so once I get a full line of those, it might be enough, but it's just so annoying. I, I, now they, they just can climb up there, so... How about... This really jumps up, does it? Uh, doesn't it? I mean, like, really. But I guess... But it does stop me from climbing. Oh! It does not too? Yeah! Great, it works! But what? I don't get it. Anyway, why is the one kind of testing flawed and the other works? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. But okay! Great, I've saved myself some effort. As well, not effort, but I saved myself some work. So that's great. It really is, but um, I, I still need to kind of check with this one. Do I have this? Oh uh, yeah, I still had it enabled. Let's just remove this from here for a test. Uh, obviously for another kind of test, because the first one didn't work. Yeah, great. So, we do, can, should, place the wooden things here, you know, just for the sake of it, and then use the brick ones here again. Then again, I actually would like... Because we are here at the, the front entrance, right? So we do need this um, additional protection, as a matter of fact. So back to these sloped ones. And... Uh, the series, if I... am to use these here... <laughs> okay, it's... <laughs> oh, great, I just gotta love it. Yeah, but it 
best gift some I mean it could leave here open so one could shoot from here or one is shooting down here this might work So, let's leave it there. I guess that's that's good. So I can like uh, remove the outer wall and leave it open so they can shoot better downwards. This is just for transition. And over here again, um, here I'm needing these again. I guess we're getting somewhere. Why? Come on, why? Are you serious? Because of those, I cannot... <clears throat> if you build support, you cannot build a hatch. And if you build a hatch, you cannot build support. What is different to a hatch? than a roof, ceiling, floor, tile, part, block. Then, okay, I get it. There, there's the actual hatch. I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's a moving thing like a door. But I, I can build walls and, and doors. Okay, that this is uh, lesser building restrictions, which is active in this game. But come on. I need to get a drink. Something to drink, not a drink. So what am I to do here? That's the question of the day. I guess... I guess we could just leave them open. But the issue is, by leaving it open, I just cannot put... Um, walls there, well, fence. 
This is like, would be so cool, but it seems it doesn't work, so let's change it. Do, 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 do. Let's change it. Uh, I guess we could use uh, some roof parts. I think uh, regular wood uh, would be great. <coughs> you know those um, triangles top down. These ones. So by using this, uh, and removing this, can I use a hatch now? Yes! Sing hallelujah! This is also, this, this looks nice. This is nice. This is actually nicer. I like it. Ah, right, right, right. So, um, I'll be using these for the inner part. Uh, but by which I mean, uh, if I were to use DLC, I, I would be using the arena DLC for this kind of building because it just looks more castle, castle ish like. Uh, by default, uh, which is great. And um, what I first intended, so, so if I was to build this with the arena box, I would be using those round wall roof uh, transitions, you know, um, that they grew look great at this if you were in a dungeon. Like these things, but over a whole wall and rounded inwards. They, they look great. But not this time. This is actually funny. I'm, I'm having Despite I'm kind of blocking the windows, they're still open to view out. This is great. Um, great, now comes the next issue. For these, so let's put it outwards. And let's see... Yes, great. Great, great, great. Uh, other than it's... I want you to go down, not up. The, the, why? Okay. Then this is gonna look inwards. I didn't get a hundred. I <clears throat> just got the one. Sometimes you, you need to click twice. So, if I open this, yeah, now this is great. This is what I'm talking about. So, 
this got to be a looking inwards, 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 inwards. Good. Inwards, inwards, inwards. Inward. Just to be sure. Inwards. Uh, these got to be removed too. Because we want to have it uniform. As it would have been built. Inwards, right. Uh, okay. And you see the um, Scharniere, um, you know, th those moving parts on the outward. This is great to just the orientation. And I just figured you can align to both sides. I was under the impression that it's only one side, but ah, okay. Hold on. Is this too open? Okay, now it moves up. Uh, this also moves up. Okay, so there's no difference. I kind of thought for at one point in time that um, they did open down, but it seems now at least they're just uh, opening up to uh, well to the upper part. So. Almost done. Inwards, inwards, oh no, inwards, 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 inwards. <laughs> to the outside, 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 low out, low out, low out. Yeah. Good, 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 good. So, also, we have a bit of a bitter area for the guards to be, walk, and watch out. <clears throat> so this is good. Just gonna change. By just using a wooden stone as they used back in the days, we do get a little bit of variety without 
and and staying consistent within the variety and plausible. So, so we get a lot of that with just following this simple rule. And I do want to keep that open. That's on purpose. So But I think we're getting to something like a castle. It. I like it. So, um, what we're now going to do is um, the balcony, uh, as there are multiple. Um, but for the balcony, I don't want them too big. Um, I, I want to have them mostly as a, you know, like a small lookout. Or ah, may, maybe in the uh, living part, and I still have to decide which tower that should be. Um, all right, and I still wanted to block the way <coughs> to the upper uh, part, so you have to move through another tower to get to the you know uh, inner upper bailey kind of thing. Like you would need to enter this tower or that tower if the player home was in this tower, in which case I would need to block down there. And that's, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna use this as a player tower. I'm gonna stay with this. So I'm gonna block here um, the lower stairs. What the? So. By doing so, it gets a little bit trickier for any intruders to find the way to your home. Not that much, granted, but it's slightly more tricky. Slightly. And again, we, we get some uh, variety in these rooms by the means of this one doesn't have stairs. This one has you know, this middle, uh, I kind of like it. Although I was pretty annoyed by this, I kind of like it how it turned out. You know, just just go with the flow uh, and, and use whatever you have uh, in an environment to your benefit and make the best out of it. If life gives you citrons, make lemonade, or how they say. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need some squares anyway. Actually, I'm, I'm done with these, so I can take back the, the squares. Kind of bigger than I, 
I wanted to. Okay, but just this one is small. Gotta be kidding. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is just to shoot everybody who dares to enter my realm without permission. Okay, uh, we have the balconies. Slightly bigger than, than I, uh, I wanted, but this is because... Alright, hold on, hold on. Okay, you know what, let's pick this up because we can. Um, if I was to place this one... Yeah, this looks nicer. This looks so nicer. This looks so nicer. Hell yeah! Because it doesn't really matter how you start, just because there is a triangle on the other side. If you want to do a balcony, you don't have to care about what's on the inside. Unless you want to put pillars down to the ground. In that case, it's recommended, uh, at least by my newish building style, um, to stay uh, what's below. But since I'm, I'm not going to support the balcony, I, I won't need that. Because I'm, I'm just going to leave it the balcony uh, like this. <clears throat> so we have that fixed again too. We go to balconies. Okay, so this is playground. So I have another guard here. This is great. Come on, this, this red starts to disturb me. Um, what up, but so yeah, but basically, we have ourselves a little castle. Now by this this time at least, and I think it's pretty usable aside of the missing doors as of now. But um, I'm gonna place them now. Well, at least the front gate. Hold on, I don't want to add the gates just now. I think. Yeah, this kind of looks nice little different, but still consistent. And you don't see it too easily. It's also something I, w I wanted to um, bypass in a way. Anyway, so we have the gate door somewhere. Suck. Suck. Oh no, just these are the wrong direction. But these as well. Okay. Yep. So 
So stop it from automatic. Now this way we have an open door. It's easy for daily life. Because I, as a matter of fact, uh, doors, well, gates, were uh, open for the most part because you do want you don't want to have to open the doors, especially if it's like a, a, an elevated bridge, um, for every single person getting in and out of, of a castle. So doors were usually open. Uh, gates, 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 just the gates, and the bridge was, was down, for the most part. And they, they were only actually closed up on um, yeah, an attacking enemy sort of thing, right? So, th this also makes it more welcoming. And the castle was a home. It, it wasn't a fortress as in modern days, although, well, semi-modern fortresses might look like a castle, but um, a castle was supposed to be a home for uh, private. It wasn't uh, well, also used as, but for the most part, it was supposed to be the home for some, some rich people, like landlord, well, lords and kings and stuff. But um, it wasn't a, a military. It, it was a military, military sized no, militarized um, home. And the fortress is um, a casern. Um, uh, um, um, well, a home of soldiers isn't a, a private home, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I want to give them some protection. I'm gonna. I think I'm done with floor tiles, right? And I think I'm done with these as well. These are not used. Stairs also no longer. Right, so we're getting somewhere. <coughs> so, wood. Um, do I have wooden walls with window? No, I don't. So. Let's make them this way. You know, so, so have to, um, they have a place to go back to. I mean, it might get windy, especially if there's a sandstorm or something. And they don't last that long, but um, it might be, um, you know, unpleasant. To, to to stay in a sandstorm. Come on, where did I build it now? Oh. So we have that. Question is, do I want to have player home on top? Or do I want it to have the one lower? As you is, the guards would be walking through my home anyway. So, regardless, I mean, I, I could build on top of that. I would have wooden floor and, and uh, wooden walls, but it might just be nice enough. Now, if 
I'm to build If I was to build a player, I, I want to have some space, right? So we're having this. And we have an exit. I mean, wait, this is also a... a yeah, let's get out here. And for now I want to have windows. Um, time getting too used to the other thing it's just uh, comfortable um, Right. This looks... Uh, need to get these walls up. Um, do we have like... Beams or pillars? Okay, I guess this is glass constructions and more. No. I, I want to have it open in a way, but I, I don't want to have uh, walls inside my room. I, I really don't like that. Uh, well, five, this is a little bit of short, I guess, but we shall see. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I guess that's not enough. Probably short on one. <laughs> no, it works out. Great. Great, 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 great. Now we could use anything up here, but um, since I have it available, but why don't you align the way I want? Right, probably because of that. Why is it in the middle? Right, because it's this beam I wanted to use, right. How is it possible that I build stuff and it doesn't get used up? Well, 
free build mode is disabled. This kind of makes no sense. And dang, I don't even need these. I'll sing hallelujah. Just realizing, because this is what I like at circles, if you don't build too big, you can make a second floor height by using the ceiling, because you can just build upward. So, uh, I think I've got them here too, right? And now we can use them on the top. Yeah, I guess. Ah, oh, let's, let's build symmetrical. Uh, how do I go exactly? This was the stairs. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna exit here. And we're gonna exit there. And we'll be using all windows otherwise because we want daylight and we are all up there anyway and it gives a little bit of a change to all the um, bricks So, we're getting somewhere, right? Okay, <laughs> do you see? The hatches are not rendered, so you, you see the light going through the, the hole of a hatch. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I really start liking it. So, um, this one's done, and I think I've missed this one. Left, right. Left. Left. Why the right? Psst. Why is it? Why does it turn this way? And funny enough, if I change, they both align to the very same direction. <sighs> this is like, why? <laughs> okay, if I move this one away. What does it even align? Why? <laughs> mm. 
we have just the same issue. I'm not getting it. I get this and that, but come on! I'm having stuff here to align to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it just doesn't want it. I mean, it's properly aligned unless I go to this angle. This is ridiculous. Ah, huh? yeah. Okay, may maybe this helps. Okay, this was outwards. This was outwards and outwards. <laughs> I'm not getting it. <coughs> Okay, then let's move it this way. I mean, can't hurt to try. Can't get any worse. Uh, let's go in then. And the moment I align it, it's the moment it turns. Again, it makes no sense. <sighs> why? Why, why, why? I mean, you don't see it, but I'm, I'm scrolling my mouse wheel. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it did work so well on so many other things. Well, why just now? I mean, is so okay I get it that it's a little bit um, irritated on this lower corner but are you serious I mean if I can't get it here I'll have to remove because otherwise it just looks like wanted but couldn't done and that's exactly what it is. I wanted to but I couldn't do. And it's sorry, but this is not about skill.
finally. Okay, let's not use a door, but a wall. Oh, is this one? No, it's in the lower part, so I need to align it on the upper part. Yeah! Yes, sir! Uh, just keep trying, eventually you get it done. Holy moly. Yes. This is right. Because everybody who's defending the other walls, the moment that they breach, they can uh, well either go in here, and they're kind of protected because they run in and are in the back to shoot them. They would only look up here, if, if maybe. But yeah. Now all that's left to do is actually to get uh, the living part done. <clears throat> but uh, what I wanted to show you is mostly about all the castle. And I think by now adding uh, doors, well, I, I will be done. Yeah, exactly. Oh, maybe because it's case sensitive. It's case sensitive on top. All of you. Um, let's take the door with isolated wood. Yeah, that's nice. For getting out is more important in this scenario. This works. Uh, yeah, I guess this is better, yeah. Exactly, the, the, uh, I missed the door, um, not door, or the final part here, right? So on here, door as well, on the left side. So, great. I might add a door here because it looks a bit strange. Also, if for I mean I put three fences uh, here, but if they should be able to get on top of that for whatever reason, it might just look nicer to have a door here. So, so,
Yep. And, oh, right, balcony. For the balcony, this is good. Not to block the entry to the door. So always the other way around. Unless uh, it's not directly access, but um, just going on top of the stairs. Yeah, here we want this. And here we want... doesn't matter. Great. Oh, no. Here? And I think this one didn't matter, right? But I like it. I like it this way. And here is this way around. Just so when you get in, you can go straight down. So I think this is usability. But yeah, I guess this is a proper castle. Relatively quickly thrown together. And without decorations as of now. But um, I think it's enough to um, give you an idea how to build a proper castle within a few moments. Well, let's call it an hour. Uh, maybe two. Uh, it didn't take too much care of time. Um, but yeah, I, I think I can leave it at that for this video because it's just supposed to be, you know, first base and stuff. Um, no, no, hold on. We're at it. So um, now let's let's make a summary of the building blocks used. So um, I did spawn three batches of brick walls. So that's... And, and I had already one. So... That's like... No, no, hold on. I, I did count the second as the second one I spawned in. And the first was the one I already had to start with. So um, we're using 200... 40, 240 brick walls. This is the most part, right? So, yeah, 240 brick walls. Second batch of easy wedges. Um, this is 195. I'm on five easy wedges. And a second batch of, so that's second batch of wooden fences. No, uh, uh, brick fences. This is sandstone. Get, let's get rid of sandstone thing. So we're having... Just that. All ah, right, but, but I, I use them because I built it and then removed them. So, a hundred and two, hundred and two stone brick fences, and I think somewhat about sixty-ish exactly, and um, sixty-six wood. Fences, ISO, ISO wood fences. So these are like the most expensive parts uh, in, in the means of I use, I use them the most. So uh, how much about windows? Um, just to have a rough idea. So that's nine wooden windows, not so much. And um, I think it was exactly, yeah, it's exactly 100 
stone brick windows. One house, stone brick windows. So these are the most expensive. Ah, oh, no, right. A batch, a second batch of the, of the wooden floors. Second batch of the wooden floors. So that's like a hundred ninety-ish, hundred ninety-ish uh, ISO wood. What's called ceiling. Yeah, this this is the most expensive part of the building. So this said and done, let's focus on um. Oops. Let's focus on 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 the nice things called brick benches. So there's uh hold on. There's this and this and this and what's that's like a science bench, okay? Um, However, um, I'm gonna use the build mode for these. So, where do we want the stuff? I think these are too big. They, they should be inside. And I think furnace is quite important. So, it does deserve this um, extra protection. I'm trying to place it reasonably, but this will probably result in a flying NPC, I guess. We shall see. Is a level 20 base? Yeah, but with level 20 you can build two. Oh, I forgot the furnace. Um, Oh, yeah, great. I haven't seen this one. Hold on, what? This looks like mud. This looks very much like a mud. What is this thing? I'm seeing this like for the very, very first time. And as a matter, I, I just removed like a tons of mods that added uh, extra workbench was like AOC, you know? They had like, uh, I don't know, it feels like a dozen new working benches. And now that I've removed that stuff, I'm seeing another one I've never seen a, a, nor encountered before. <laughs> <coughs> Alto okay. So okay. And there's here's the other one, great.
this is probably too far out, right? It isn't? Ah, th th right here. It is. Oh, I forgot this door. And if I move it like or place it like that. And this doesn't work. And it's outside as well. Anyway, I think I'm, I'm not gonna put the oven or furnace uh, on the inside. I'll be placing them outside. And I think this would be great, like here. So. Because this is great. Well, I could place some coal barrels there, you know, for, for immersion stuff. <clears throat> now, what do we need over there as well? Um, I'm gonna use the. I've, I've missed the tannery. <laughs> I think this one's for here. I mean, it's kind of weapon stuff. Not not really, but in a way. I mean, you use that stuff to attack th uh, enemies, right? So in a way, it is. Um, did I just remove the? Yeah, I just removed the wrong one. This is of the torture, right? Uh, Taskmaster's workbench. No, I, I don't want to place too much work stuff in the inner yard. Because that would kind of um, destroy the parts, but I um, guess I have to, unless I want to place this one really, really in the middle. Kind of looks nice, actually. Um, but it's just wood. Let's. Make the wood stuff a little bit more in the front. If I use it like that, I can go past here. Using this one as it's not used with a thrall. Here, then we have saddle. And the saddle is more with like leather and stuff. So this is done. This is done. Another workbench. So. This is done. So we have a saddler, armor maker, and we need a tanner. I forgot to add the tanner. A 
And I think the tanner is nice for here. Oh, this would be so great the other way around. But I guess this works quite well. So we're having the pots with those acid liquids uh, right next to the window. I think this is important. And we want to have the armor thing right near the, the stairs. And actually, yeah, but, but let's keep this inside so we have more living in the inside. Because on the outside, I can't just place, you know, uh, fences for, for horsey and stuff. Um, so, we have doors. And also, this leaves us still with enough space. Um, if you want to play with stuff like um, Age of Calmatius or whatever it's pronounced, AOC, or uh, other mods like, I don't know, Skelos, adds also a working bench kind of thing, or, or Grim Armor, or. There's lots of stuff um, that add new workbenches kind of style. So having a little bit of room spare is nice to have. Uh, speaking of spare room, let's see how big mount is. Pet? Yeah, okay, with pet, right. Um, let's take something big. You know, just to be sure. I think one each should be enough. This looks so is this an elephant? It's so small? I mean, these animals are, are like four meters tall in real life. And this one is hardly two meters. In comparison, this one is way too big. Holy. Oh, let's move it. No, I'm not following. I want to order you, so... Let's go again for fences. <clears throat> and these ones. Now, another nice thing is, if you press the middle button, they start adjusting the angle to the uh, terrain they're placed on. So this is nice if you want to um, kind of keep it consistent with the uh, floor below, so you don't have any, well, hopefully, you don't have any pieces in the air, as they would look like, well, rather ridiculous. And we're getting somewhere. Well, let's make this here too, just for the sake of it. So, because it's, it's a little bit low there, right? OK. 
Okay, I hate it when the sandstorm comes. You just see nothing anymore. Uh, come on, I, I'm surrounded by four big walls. I should be like perfectly safe. Well, almost. Yeah, now I'm perfectly safe. Great. Nice. So we have a place for the animals, and I think there would be place for two in each of those um, little things. So this should help. Yeah, crap. Oh right, we, we need lighting. We need lights. And as I was saying, torches weren't used that much inside. Uh, and even on the outside, they, they were not for permanent uh, lightning. And you see that very well in this game, actually. Because if you use torches, uh, even uh, wobble-mounted torches, <coughs> Um, you see that they don't give enough light. I mean, not at all. What you want is a uh, wind-protected uh, torch. Now, this one is very different from this one, okay? This one is a handheld torch. This is, you know, like the very one you can craft by hand. Now, this is a slightly more advanced. You still need to make the manual um, torch, but this one actually has, you know, a longer stick and, in RP purposes, uh, term speaking now, um, it's a big torch, so it, it can last longer. Now it's still very, very uh, thin, of course. But at least it, it's not a very handheld torch, uh, because those are really, really only uh, for the outside. Um, by all this talking, I mixed the um, castle. Oh, right, I forgot this one. Um, and the, the, the fireplace, oh, the fireplace. I missed that one too. And uh, I was looking for. I forgot it. Uh, lights, genau. Uh, <laughs> lights, genau. Okay, that's two languages mixed. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm getting dizzy or something. I don't know. Um, we're having uh, um, 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 foil. <sighs> okay, this this might I could use this for 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 the living room, right? Um, How are they called in English? Fire, fire. Cool, funny, funny. Okay, great. So these are too warm, and these are too light. Okay. Now, if you had noticed, the um, brass here was uh, wiggling around when I tried to align it to the ceiling. Now, this was be because I still had it, uh, the middle mouse button pressed kind of thing. Um, 
and that doesn't jump around when, when I try to align it to the ceiling. Uh, what I have to do is, is to take something that doesn't jump around, like the door, uh, as it needs something to, to lock onto, and as it needs that, it's easier to reset the um, automatic floor orientation of, you know, fence stuff or anything else that you want to place on, on, the, on the ground. Or, um, uh, as you've seen, uh, the other approach, if, if you want to uh, place uh, light on the ceiling. There's the door needed too. Alright, this should be enough. I don't think I need light in these small things. They, they're just supposed to give some shelter and not really like a living space or something like that. Great. I think we've got them all now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And here two. Great. So and uh, now to the floor brassiers, uh, because we wanna place them too. I mean even in the desert it can get pretty cold at night in the desert. So there's that. Uh, however, we don't have much room. Well, not much, I said. Not none at all. Uh, luckily, we don't need that much of AI pathing when placing thralls as guards. Uh, so we can just use them here. And let's highlight that wooden thing. I think this is enough. Shouldn't be too protected because it, they are supposed to shoot down here. So this is getting trickier with this one, but <clears throat> here it's fine. And the thing protects a bit for, for, from everybody who wants to shoot from an angle. So this should be fine. <clears throat> I still need a fireplace. And uh, this is my player home. I guess I have to armor stuff down here, right. So... I also will need some indication what's where, right? Mm. Tannery? Right, let, let's get those signs. Um, Designs. Oh, let's take this one because you can actually read this uh, most of the time. So, so, and 
here, there, zack, zack, and we're done. Great. So this is carpenter, fire, wood, and decorations. We have just one entry, great. And this one is tannery and all. Tanner Armory. Armors and Tanner. This is actual blacksmith. So blacksmith and taskmaster utilities. Now let's just copy paste this over to here. Speaking of copy pasting it, let's take this armor and tanner to this side as well. So we having here nothing. We could then therefore use this to cook. This is not the cooking place I intended to. This is too skilled. This is not what I wanted. I wanted the... Uh, oh well, this is campfire. Uh, if I call it for foyer, yeah, this one. And uh, I don't like this. And uh, I think... disorientation. Then I'll be using this one. Alchemy and food. Yeah, so we, we get it something living. Uh, speaking of something living, let's fall back to those light fences some more for the inner. I mean, it's not supposed to give a lot of protection to the inside, but at least I don't want to f people to fall down, right? We don't want that. They, they should be uh, safe and sound when, when doing their, their duties, their course, chores. How, how is that one actually called? Course? Chores? Depends on where you live, like tomato, tomato? Is it like that kind of thing? Uh, Okay, this this arm looked weird, very. Now, for black, I, I'm tempted to move it up. I, I mean, for some reason, I have it up there, right? For some reason, I have those things there. Uh, it looks like it's here. Okay, it would work like this, I guess, kind of. It works like this, great. This leaves me some 
more room here. I don't like that. Because... Uh, hold on, this could, this could get tricky. Well, <clears throat> I just thought I, I could use some training dummies, right? And put a wall there and put those training dummies there so, uh, you know, um, soldiers can train a little. I'm getting stronger in, in theory and stuff. Uh, and I'm fucked up this one. So back to the fence. What? Wood. So, stay there. Great. Okay. What was I talking about just a minute ago about these walls and training dummies? Uh, this might be a little bit too much. For this training dummy, train the boy there. Training dummy, yeah. Okay, so if I'm to um, want to place a wall there, it won't work because this one's here. So if I'm removing this, I'm still not able to. To build a wall here, why? I've built from the inside to the outside. Why can't I? I'm not even. Ah. Great. But this isn't much of an issue. Let's get back to the furnace. I want to be able to. Place it here. Yep. Okay, and now we let's put two walls here and then place three of these. Hold on, hold on, this would be great, this would be great, I guess, I hope, let's see. I did have some awnings, right? And I think this would go great here. Question is though, is there annoying to close it like that? Um, I guess not, it's just just the other way around. Because that's how they usually use for, for the outside, right? But this would be great. This would be nice. But like this I could leave it. But it's open here and this this is annoying. And also this way you but if, if I'm going to use a sea, uh, um, roof, it will come down too far. Wouldn't it? It would. 
Yeah, I really would. This is way too down. <clears throat> nope. If I make it just on one side. You know, like, we are in the desert and training all day requires some shadow. So that, that's about my thought behind this. I think this looks nice. Like these animals, they do like, um, you know, the sun and stuff. Well, they also like shadow, of course, but um, they're more used to that, I guess. Um, I'm looking for those. All oh, right, forgot this one. Actually, this would be for the carpenter. Um, I, I know it's f supposed to be food, but uh, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm using it more for uh, wood stuff rather than <coughs> rather than actual food be because food is uh, so immense. Food is so immense. Um, at, at least. Once you change your settings to retrieve like three or f four tops, five is way too much already, I guess, for my taste at least. But if you go for like three or four um, times the amount of um, loot resources you gather, uh, you have no issues whatsoever with, with food, e even with, with, with default values. Um, I mean, yes, it's annoying how often you, you gotta eat, uh, but then again, as soon as you start using better food, um, you fall quicker and it kind of lasts a lot longer. And yeah, if you still survive, you, you gotta eat less often, but still plenty. So. Uh, with the sheer amount of food we have had uh, enough in the online game, and that was set to three. Um, independently to, to, to what I played before in, in uh, single player with three, uh, so, so I really like that value. It's it's really a, a you know like a casual approach to survival that's slightly more focusing on uh, building. Um, but I don't find the uh, stuff I'm looking for. Um, that's probably because it's done at the workbench and thus I cannot search for it in the creative menu. So I'm gonna look in here. And I think... It's not shown here either. Okay, these are right, but I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for the uh, live icon top. Okay, and what, what's the one call? I got that one. Rippe. Okay. Feeding. Let's just. If, if, if I get it with feed, no. Rippe. There we go. But uh, after this where's the here? Okay, let's make the food for the soldiers just like where, where they're going to train. 
they're not too much of a way for them. And why not in here? The rhino or elephant? Is this the kitchen? Yeah, so, so let's play it, place it on here. And what we also want, and I think this is learned very soon after training. I think even it's level 25. Uh, let's see. It is level 25. Great. So I can build one. Um, a small well should be enough. So, we're having a small well. Yeah. Uh, let's do some rooms for the guards. Well, beds for the guards, better to say. So I would call these proper guards. Um, how many people do we need to guard this? Now, a proper castle can be defended quite easily, even a big castle. Um, I know the story, but I don't know the um, precise data. Uh, well, well, I don't recall them. Uh, but on Shady University, great guy, great about uh, knowledge of castles and swords and stuff. Uh, very fun to watch. Um, he has several, I, I think it was the same story actually, uh, come to think of it, um, that a single woman, well, the, the, the Lord's wife, right, and uh, the peasants like, like cook, uh, stable moss, butler, uh, like all together, like, like five or seven people, if I, if I recall correctly, and they defended a huge, huge castle versus a, an enemy army of over, th uh, well, several thousand, I guess, but, or at least 300? This sounds wrong because of the movie, but uh, so something like that. But anyway, point is, they were like four, seven people, and they could defend a bigger castle, uh, as what we have here, over a long period of time a, against a big invading army. And this is the power of proper castles. Like, you know, the use of crenellations, uh, well, matriculations in this case, everybody who tries to getting too close can be shot at. And um, this, this is really what we want, right? If anyone comes here without our permission, they will get wasted. That's the whole purpose of a castle, kind of. So, um, back to counting how many guards we need, and thus how many beds. So we're having one, two, three, four, five, six, six archers, and one, two, three, four, Four fighters. That's a good number. So ten. Ten will be our bet number. We want to achieve. And this one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not enough. Not enough. 
But um, oh, I still need to see the stairs back here. So where are the stairs with um, with a railing? These. Yep, like this. Oh, oh right, 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 right. And um, we want to have... Um, but these all hurt. So I'm gonna use the other fences. Because they, they, the only one that doesn't hurt is the arena. And, and um, th that's DLC, so I'm, I'm gonna be using this one. So, whoop. Now, let's make this here too. So, I mean, I'm sorry, but, but this is um, how it goes when, when building. It's quite a focused task, actually. So, for the most part, I hope I talked more than usually and being informative on the way, but it's kind of hard to do this uh, on the fly in a one-shot video. Because I cannot cut the, the long scenes. So... I think this is just nice and gives that realism feeling that you don't want to fall off to a stair, right? And we can't get back here, so this is enough. And we won't be burning ourselves on purpose. Not if we're somewhat reasonable. And we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. It starts slowly to look a little bit alive. Just a little. Oh, well, we still need the fences. Oh, crap. Uh, but I'm gonna stay with the... No longer need these. I'm gonna stay with the normal wooden things. Do I? Yeah, I do. Because if, if I want to shoot down here, actually, this should be, could be, it's a balcony. It's not a battle station as such. This is supposed, battle stations are up here again. And that's just a balcony. You know, it does indicate a player tower, but it's not too obvious, I guess. In a way, at least. So what we want now is... Well, I want some plants. I like plants. They... they well, not, not in real life. Uh, I let them die. <laughs> too much of a computer addict. But, um, yeah. It just so happens, and, and yeah. Anyway, so let's. I mean, it would be nice to have some life on the walls there, and that's how I intended it very early on in the very early development station. Uh, 
but by now I, I like it as it's open here. It gives like, you know, almost city feel, well at least village. Yeah, it's just that protected feeling and gives some space. Um, however, I wanted to have some plants, so this is probably, yeah. This is just the dec decorative ones, and I think this is, well, for inside, I mean, we do have a little bit of shadow here, this should be okay. And let's leave it there. Uh, he will probably eat of these. <laughs> uh, let's make, take another one. Midnight build. This sounds nice. Yeah, now, even though I'm using the same flowers, because I have this corner here, it doesn't get too boring. It brings life into the same pattern, and using the same pattern is, well, it looks good, obviously, but it does get too boring if, if you just see it over and over again. So, so this helps to break um, the repetitiveness, repeat if repeatish, if ness, whatever, you know what I mean, and still be something that kind of fits or suits or belongs there. Okay, this is a bit too far away. Well, let's make it three. Ah, uh, can I fit three down here? Nope. Training dummy. So let's carefully. Okay, we have three mice. Okay, let's get it. Carpets! Carpets! We need carpets! For the inside, we need carpets. Not in the working area, of course. Their carpet would be just wasted. But. We want carpets in the more livable areas, right? Like here, or here. Uh, I'm still missing the beds. But of course, um, I'm not missing them, actually, because um, I miss the carpets more. Otherwise, it's too early to place beds. Carpet is for teppich. So we have red, blue, green, orange, big, and leather. Oh, no, this looks nice. This is player. This is player home. Oh, come on. This looks ugly. And if I go up, it's... no. Seriously? It's better... Ha! <laughs> okay! Uh, 
Okay, it's not the nicest, but at least I don't see any wood through the carpet. I mean, this would mean the carpet has holes. This is supposed to be the player home, so... No, let's get blue for like, you know... Blue blood. For the king and stuff. Okay, now I've got to check. I'm not quite sure. Yuck. Oh, this should be enough. And this is red for the guard. Action. works. So let's get red on this side too. This looks so ridiculous. Placing a carpet and having floor parts looking through. This is... I mean, if it were holes, it, it would be quite a different story, but it's supposed to be a complete carpet. looks interesting. I mean, if I were able to play some potion, flusher, um, gloss,
We are. Yeah, hallelujah. So, okay, let's see. Uh, small, something smallish. Looks alive enough. Let's just stay with these. I like them. Okay, and another red one. I find it funny how it's claiming to have not enough uh, floor contact while the floor is looking through. This is... Oh. So red... This one's in need of red too. Come on, then this way. I forgot an hydrogen. Holy. <sighs> yeah. I really like I really like this one now. It's actually like the I built a bigger before, as a matter of fact, but uh, in that case I had it with an enclosed roof <clears throat> uh, holding a map room on the ground as decoration. Uh, this was quite tricky to achieve, uh, especially uh, as I wanted to have the main room above the, the map room as a party, well, um, you know, throne room and welcoming room and party room and historically um, castles didn't have well, the, the smaller the castle was the few rooms it had meaning um, if you had a one building castle like like a tower say okay uh, then we would have like a room like this would serve so many purposes. What we would have separately would be like the kitchen. But other than that, this, it would be one great um, gathering hall. Um, the kitchen room and then a room for the landlord. And th that's already only optional. If, if, if it was just like a small tower. Now, with something of this size, um, I will be wanting to have uh, a room for the guards to eat. Well, for all the peasants, for that matter. And one room for myself. And sleeping room is separately extra. 
I'll, I'll be using this one as the bedroom and this one as the dining room. Like having guests, um, they could get up here, and then up here would be the the real private area. Okay, but I gotta complete the video, so I'm, I'm just. As a matter of fact, this is not so much of interesting, I guess. Oh, I hate when it jumps. So, yeah, let's leave it to that. Um, so you, you, you're getting about the basics of, of the floor and stuff. Um, I guess we'll leave it to that. Now, one last thing, one last thing, because this is always nice. And I think I haven't placed enough lights yet, because I mainly lit the, the inner room, but not the outside. So let's change that as a last task. Then again, it looks finish already. Well, we, we do need some of the... And now it's labeled a torch, but at least it's a big torch, okay? It's a big torch. Let's call it a big torch that is not handheld and uh, leave it at that, okay? <laughs> it's a big torch. Yeah, we, this looks nice. Let's get this fire here, just for, you know, a, a little change in this. This one here as well. Now, as a matter of fact, let's do this with all these. I like it. Let's keep them all at the same height. Well, I'm not there, but otherwise. So that we're back at the uniformity. Then remove it in the middle. Because I think it's more important to have doors lit than the really central part. Because th this gives too much of a bright light spot or otherwise. And by going a little bit outwards, we have the walls covered from the bottom reasonably and have some of the lights on top of it. Now, do we want to have the light up here? Do we want that? Because if the guards are lit, that, that's just something I, I think about. Um, if the guards are lit, then, well, no, not the guards themselves, obviously, but um, if there were light up here, you know, say here, and the guard is standing there, now his silhouette is exposed, and any archer from up there, even even from down there, or like, you know, climbing there in the tree and aiming over here. 
or if I'm in the front, right? So, so the silhouette is to be seen. The silhouette is seen. And this makes the guards actually vulnerable, I would say. So, I think it's not about putting light up there for the guards, because in a way their eyes should get comfortable to the dark in the night, so they see enemies approaching, because if there is light up there, you know from yourself, if you look into light, and it doesn't even need to be a bright light, it's any light in the night, that, that's gonna, in quotes, blind you. Um, so you just see pitch black, even if it's not pitch black, but the first impression after looking into the light, into the dark, is pitch black. So, any enemy approaching would have benefit of seeing exactly where we are, and the guards can't see them because they are in the light. Now, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change this. Really gonna change this. And call it. I'm gonna use now for the outside. Gonna use such a one. Central Bautish, so here. Central Bautish, here. So, this, this is rather important, and I think it looks nice. And again, we're talking now well, I'm talking these torches, they are long, they are, you know, really fixed in the floor. At least, kind of. So, let's put some lights there, too. Almost. I mean, does this even work here at the bottom? This, this would be so mean. Then again, I would need to make it like... What the... And again, I can build it everywhere, but not here. Oh, this is strange. Anyway, because this is Fine, and I wanted to place. Uh, this is not isolated. This is brick, right? Yeah, it's brick. So let's get the isolated ones here for this one. Just like this. What about putting such a one on top? Yeah, I think I think this matches. This fits. A little bit of height. Oh, I'm missing a light here.
Okay, this should be enough. So we have this wonderful, wonderful walls around our lights. You know what? Just use this one because it's set in one. <laughs> Just place it twice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For the last part. Let's make this one really quick. I mean, really quick in comparison, especially because I, I want to get it done by now. I, I don't want to destroy the tree there. Then again, I shouldn't build into it. Either way, three nice. Not just for the fun of it. Ah, let's keep it simple. the regular inventory please so gotta be kidding okay no no this so in the middle that's fine Yes, this should work. Yeah, because the, you can actually uh, farm the stone, so <laughs> this would be a bad choice to not remove that one. Um, This is just so we have, uh, again, I need to go here. Mm. I hate this thing. Well, we've got to remove those ugly trees before, but um, this wood should. 
Gutenberg. Oh. Hold on. We, we get. Houston, we have a problem. We have a problem. We don't have any thralls yet. And that's really, really not good. We need thralls. We really need thralls. Now, I'm just placing it here this way because I can, but um, you would probably better be, uh, be better off So and now we're having a wheel of pain. Let's check out with the biggest one. Great. I don't want to make it full fledged everything in this one single video uh, because I guess I would do a speed video for that. But um. Well, some, some more lights. So we would have some lights with the thralls and with the stables. And of course, we would also have some lights. At the entry, on both sides, I think this makes it a little bit more appealing. And let's see. Nah, we need it. I guess this one would be better. I mean, you could you could move it on more over there. I, I, I leave it to that. I leave it to that. It's more about the cost of the, the restaurant is uh, very very depending on the environment you find. So you don't have to build here, but um, it, it's a good place. Um, you have lots of iron just over there. Really, lots of iron. Uh, near water, you have a good sight. There's not really a chance to for anyone um, to build. Up. Okay, it would be able. One would be able to build up there, but this would also destroy all the iron spawns, and that's something you don't want to have. So you want to have the iron uh, for all the steel and stuff. Uh, but yes, we have our little castle that now starts to look like it's been lived in, which it will be eventually. So uh, yeah, I really hope you like this video. Uh, I'm gonna take a well-deserved break. Well, I hope you agree with that. And um, yeah, hope you like. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or want to comment on something. Uh, you're welcome to do so. I uh, would be very appreciated also if you would uh, give a thumbs, thumbs up if you liked the video and share the link if you think it's worth. So thanks again for watching and have a good time. See ya.